Bible says in uh, Matthew chapter 7, verse 21, it says that not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom. Into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. He goes on to say, this is Jesus Christ talking. He goes on to say, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? Have we not cast out devils? And in thy name did many wonderful works. And I'm thinking today that that's part of the problem today is that people do these things and they are just using the name of God. They're just using Jesus Christ as a way to promote their ministry. They're just using the name of Jesus Christ and they thinking that they're doing God a service, but yet it, 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 kind of, it kind of defeats the whole purpose that you do wonderful works, but yet you don't know God. You see, it doesn't matter what you think. What matters is, is that does Jesus Christ know you? Does Jesus Christ know who you are? Because the Bible goes on and says, and this is Jesus speaking to those that did the wonderful works. He said, then I will profess unto them, I never knew you, depart from me, you that work iniquity. The word iniquity is a word that means sin. So Jesus says, depart from me because you are in darkness. Depart from me because you are working in sin. You, you're, 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 I, I, Jesus is saying, I don't know you. I don't know who you are. And that's a sad state is that you think that because that you're doing some great works in the church or you're doing great works for other people that you think that somehow that's going to land you uh, some kind of merit in heaven. I'm, I'm telling you, it don't. Because the Bible says that through the shedding of blood, without the shedding of blood, there is no remission. So, but I come here tonight to preach to you, to, to proclaim to you tonight that God offers mercy to everyone tonight. Everyone walking in darkness tonight. Everyone walking in sin tonight. God is offering mercy to His Son, Jesus Christ. And the gospel of Jesus Christ is good news. The gospel of Jesus Christ is good news that you can be saved tonight. The gospel of Jesus Christ is good news to the fact that you can get right with God. No matter how far off in sin that you've gone or you think that you are tonight, I'm telling you through the authority of the Word of God tonight that you can get right with God and you can be saved tonight. As you pump your gas over this way, if you're listening to me out there in the parking lot, you can be saved tonight. You can know what it is tonight to be saved, to have your sins forgiven tonight. And that's what we come along preaching. But yet, you got to be willing to repent. And there's not too many people willing to do that. They might be willing to come along and say, I'm sorry, but they're not willing to come along and, and actually repent of their sin and turn to Christ. And if you're not willing to repent, then the Bible says that there's going to be a day of accountability. Whatever last one of us, there's going to be a day of accountability in which that we'll stand before the Lord, you will stand before God, I will stand before God. And the Bible says that in Acts chapter 17 and 31, that there's going to be a day in which that you're going to stand before the God that created you. And if you've rejected God's plan of salvation, then you're going to hear those words that I just opened up with in Matthew chapter 7, when he says, Depart from me because you're in darkness. Depart from me because you are in sin. You are a sinner. I don't know you. The important thing tonight is not that you think that you got a relationship with God. The important thing tonight is the fact that Jesus Christ knows you. And He don't know you tonight if you're walking in sin. He don't know you tonight if you're walking around in iniquity. He don't know you tonight if you're walking in darkness. And there's going to be a day that you're going to stand before the God that created you. And if you've rejected God's plan of salvation, and 
and uh, then you're going to hear those words from Matthew 7. Depart from me because I don't know who you are. And if you're out here tonight, if you're out here tonight and you don't know God, then you're in the danger zone. The reason why they say that you're in the danger zone tonight, that you're in that danger zone is because that there's still blood pumping through your veins tonight. The reason why I say that you're in the danger zone is because you're still breathing. So you're not condemned all the way tonight that there's still hope. And you're in the danger zone tonight if you don't know Jesus Christ. You're in the danger zone tonight if you're walking in darkness. And you're walking in sin tonight and rebellion against God. And if you leave out of here, if you leave out of here tonight, in that danger zone, and you cross over into eternity tonight, and you're in the danger zone, then you will wake your eyes up in hell. And without the forgiveness of Jesus Christ, without the salvation of Jesus Christ, tonight you will go to dead as hell. And so God sent you a preacher out here tonight to preach the gospel to you in this Walmart parking lot out here by the corner of the roadside. God sent a, a preacher out here to warn you tonight of the importance of repentance, of the importance to repent. That if you don't repent, Jesus Christ said, this, this, isn't that coming from me? Jesus Christ said in Luke 13 and 3, he says, unless you repent, you will like you will all likewise perish. And that's what Jesus said. Unless you repent, unless you repent, you will perish. And that's the warning. And that means tonight that when Jesus said you will perish, that means that you will go to hell. And he don't want you to go to hell. That 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 means that you will die here. And if you lived a life of rebellion against God and you've rejected God and you rejected God's plan of salvation, you've lived your life being a God hater and killed against God, living your life right the opposite of the will of God, then I'm telling you, you're going to die in your sin and you will go to the devil's hell. But yet you can come to God today. That's the beautiful thing about the mercy of God, you can come to God. It's God's way. God's salvation. And you can come to God tonight and God offers mercy tonight through the shed blood of Jesus Christ. His one and only Son, God offers mercy. So I'm saying tonight, if you think that you're too big, bad, and ugly, that you've done too much, that you can't be saved, I'm telling you tonight that you can be saved tonight. You can know what it is to be forgiven tonight. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You can come to God today. God offers you mercy today through the shed blood of His one and only Son, Jesus Christ. But yet, you got to be willing to repent. Even though He's made provision like that, you still got to be willing to come to Him and repent. The Bible says in James 4 and 6, but He gives more grace. Wherefore, He saith, God resisteth the proud but give it more grace to the humble. So tonight, if you're walking around in rebellion against God, tonight, if you're walking around in your sin, in iniquity tonight, then God is resisting you. But yet the Bible says, if you humble yourself, that He gives grace to the humble tonight. God will give grace. But you got to be willing to come out of the dark. Throw away your pride tonight. Confess your sin tonight. Bible talks about confess and forsake your sin. There are a lot of people that confess it, but yet they don't forsake it. They don't turn away from it. The Bible talks about confess and forsake. Proverbs 28 and 13. He that covereth his sin shall not prosper, but whosoever confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy. So tonight, we're coming on preaching. Confessing and forsaking, turning to Christ. Come to Christ. Hallelujah. Put down your pride tonight. Come out of the dark. 
Humble yourself. And the Bible says that He will in no wise cast you aside. Hallelujah. Preacher, what are you saying? I'm saying that tonight you can get right with God. I'm saying tonight if you're not right with God, get right with God tonight. 2 Corinthians 7 and 1 says, Having therefore these promises dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from the filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of God. And that's what the Word of God says tonight. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, the Bible talks about, uh, the Bible talks about that the Lord said, Be holy, for I am holy. 1 Peter 1 and 16, the Bible says that without holiness no man shall see the Lord. So we can see how important that it is tonight for us to come out of sin, to repent and turn, confess and forsake the sin. But yet, tonight you can get born again. Hallelujah. You can get right with God tonight. Hallelujah. Yet, you got to be willing to repent. you got to be willing to come to God, to come to Christ. And God still has mercy. I don't care how far in sin that you've gone, how far in the darkness that you've gone, I'm telling you tonight... God still has mercy. God has mercy. And the Lord forgive you. If you come to Him tonight, hallelujah. And you can get born again. You can come to God. But yet you got to be willing to repent. The Bible says that God has appointed a day. That God has appointed a day of judgment. Where each one of us tonight, that's you and that's me, tonight that... We're going to give an account of our lives. The Bible says in Romans chapter 14 and verse 10, the Bible says that we shall that we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. For it is written, as I live, said the Lord, every knee shall bow to me and every tongue shall confess, so that every one of us shall give an account of himself to God. And that's something that none of us can escape today. And we will stand before him. We'll give an account tonight. And the Bible says in Acts 17 and verse 30, the Bible says, And the, the times of ignorance God went at, but now commanded all men everywhere to repent, because He has appointed a day in which He will judge the world in righteousness by Jesus Christ. God sent His Son. Preacher, what do you say? I'm saying that God sent His Son tonight. To die for your sin tonight. To die for the, the very iniquity that he says. Depart from me, you worker of iniquity. I don't know you. He died on the cross so that you can get right with God tonight. So that you can find mercy with God tonight. Hallelujah. So that you can know what it is to be forgiven. But you got to get right with God though. You have to make the choice. Pick up the Bible. To get the word of God tonight, humble yourself, turn to Jesus Christ while there's still time. The clock is ticking down, guys. Can you hear the clock ticking tonight? Tick, tock. Tick, tock. Tick, tock. Time is ticking on down. We're in the last days. And I've given you the warning tonight. Judgment Day is coming. Judgment Day is coming and there's not too much time left today. And so we're in the end times. We're in the last days. We're in the last days, guys. And God is offering you an invitation. The Bible says in Revelation chapter 3, verse 20, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man will hear my voice and open up the door, I will come in to him and I will sup with him and he with me. To him that overcometh, I will grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame and I'm set down with my Father in heaven. Hallelujah. So God has given you the invitation tonight. Everyone out here tonight that's in the Walmart parking lot tonight, or wherever that chili is, or wherever that you're, anybody here, this, uh, uh, this uh, preach tonight, God has given you an invitation to his kingdom. But yet, even with that invitation, you got to repent. You gotta repent tonight. Luke 14 and 3. I remind you, the Bible says Jesus Christ speaking here. Jesus said, if you do not repent, 
you will likewise perish. That means you're going to go to hell. If you don't repent, if you don't get the forgiveness of Jesus Christ, if you don't get the salvation of Jesus Christ, then I'm telling you tonight, that means that you're going to die and you're going to, when you wake your eyes up through death, to the door of death, then you're going to go to hell. But yet while you're, you are alive tonight, you can humble yourself tonight, you can put down your pride tonight, you can come to the mercy of Jesus Christ tonight. you got to come out of the dark. The Bible says in John 3, 19 that men love the darkness rather than the light. And that's why men stay in the darkness. Because they love darkness and they hate the light. They were all preaching the gospel and people do like they did in the call one another. They get upset and start shouting things at the preacher as if it's going to uh, stop us from preaching. But yet and still, men love darkness rather than light. And so tonight, that's just, that's just the way it is. And so you got to come out of the darkness. You want salvation tonight? You gotta come out of the darkness. The Bible says that this is this is uh this is the condemnation. This is the condemnation. The men love darkness rather than light. And I know a lot of people think that it's God the one that's condemning, and they think that it's the preachers that are condemning and the church folk that are condemning, but yet and still the Bible says that. This is the condemnation that men love darkness out of the light. And so if you're condemned tonight, you are condemned because of your sin. Not because of God. Not because of a preacher. Not because of a Christian or the church tonight. You're condemned because of your sin. And that's the reason why men don't come to God. That's the reason why men don't repent. That's the reason why men don't live the life of Jesus Christ. Because they love the darkness rather than the light. That's why people get upset at the at the priest word of God because men love the darkness rather than light. But yet you gotta come to God. You gotta put down the darkness. You gotta put down your pride. The Bible says that God resists the proud and He gives more grace to the humble. So tonight, if you want if you want the if you want the more grace from God tonight. You got to put down your pride. You got to come by the way of Jesus Christ tonight. And that's what we preach along the way tonight. Proclaiming Christ, the glory of God tonight. Even though tonight that I love you guys, but I do want to say to you that it's, it's not about my love tonight. Because if the love of Jesus Christ is not good enough for the sinner, then I know that my love can't scratch the surface. Jesus Christ is the one that came and died for you tonight. And so the only thing I'm doing out here tonight is obeying Him. Follow what He tells me to do. That's to preach the gospel. Give you the warning that you got to repent. you got to come to God. you got to come by the way of the cross. And so tonight, we love you. Again, it's not about our love tonight. My love is not important. And so that's why that I come preaching Christ. Because He's the one that died on the cross for you. And in order for you to get saved tonight, you got to come to Christ. In order for you to get saved tonight, you got to repent of your sin. you gotta, you got to come to the Lord Jesus Christ, trust in Him, come to the light. And that's what we come out here preaching tonight. I hope tonight that the Lord will bless you with repentance tonight. And I pray in the name of Jesus for everyone that will listen to my voice tonight. They'll be able to hear the priest's word of God. We tear down the stronghold of the devil that's, that's blood in their minds. The name of Jesus. And we pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that they will hear the priest's word. That God will bless them with repentance tonight. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah.